There are a lot of new makeup trends this season. Which ones work for us type 2s? I'm going to show you how to make them work for your beautiful type 2 nature. I'll be incorporating several trends in this makeup look. The first one is a dewy, glowy look that's really on trend right now. And we have the perfect product for that. This is a new tinted primer. Now I love when you can take two great things and put them in one. So this is our beloved primer, now mixed with a foundation. Now you can use this just as a primer. Um, well, you can use it alone, I mean, or you can use it as a primer and put your foundation over. It just depends on what sort of coverage you want. It has an SPF of 20, which is great because you need that sun protection on your face. So I like to just do how I did it with my fingers and then take my brush and maybe even out any spots that I didn't quite get to. You can even rub it on your eyes um, and apply it and have primer there. It is so light, it's lighter than our BB cream. So if you like the BB cream but want even a little bit lighter. It's going to show through some of, um, you know, it's not as full coverage, so you'll still see freckles, maybe some age spots, and so if you feel like you want more coverage, you can go up. But depending on the day, if you just want more of a finished look, this is so light and gives just a tinge of color and coverage, it's perfect, and I love the finished feel. Now you could go ahead and top this with our powder, but I am going to keep that dewy, glowy look because it's on trend. So we'll keep, we'll just keep it at that. And for the blush, I'm going to dip into our highlighter seashell. And I'm just gonna leave it as at that because you can see on my blush brush, there's some residue, there's some color there. So I'm gonna dip into there and just add that glowy look. And if I want to, then maybe I'd add a little more color. For this look, I would take a little bit of this Barely Mauve and let's just add it right on the top. So we're keeping it real light and fresh. Very nice there. Um, another trend that's really on season is lighter brows. Now I've seen this like with any trend, you can see like the really high fashion look and then you're like, okay, well how do I make that work for me an everyday person? So a light brow extreme look is they're putting powder over their eyebrows and basically making their eyebrows disappear, which is like last season, come on, trends are changing all the time it was the really bold brow look and that has been in for a long time. So to make this lighter brow trend work for you, just do a lighter hand, less product, or take the color that you're using down and go down one shade. I'm using, I love our brow definer. This works really well for my brows that are there. I just need to darken them up and define them a little bit. Um, and I use our lightest tone and I was usually using the medium one. So I've gone down a shade and just have practice going a little bit more light-handed. Again, this is creating a really fresh, natural face with that dewy look, the lighter foundation, um, lighter coverage. And I just kind of fill in the gaps that are happening in the front of my brows and then lengthen it where there's a little bit less color at the end. And then you got an even amount of it. But I love this, um, flat tip, the felt tip makes it go on really easy. It's just a couple little lines. And then I always take the spoolie on the end of the brow duo, duo brush and kind of blend it in. And this automatically lightens it up a little bit as it pulls some of that product off. So keeping it really light and fresh. I'm gonna put on some eye primer. You could just use this primer. This for your eyes would be um, less impactful than the actual eye primer, which has more tack to it. I'm gonna be using some dark colors in my eyes, so I wanted this extra primer to really hold those colors in place. So what is on trend for eye makeup? You can kind of go either way. It's either the neutral eye with dark lips or what we're doing today in this video is the bold color, very colorful, all about the eyes with a minimal lip. And so here's a photo of what I found. 90s are back, can you believe it? I'm like, why? Why do we go back to these trends that I remember were so terrible? <laughs> so the 90s look, this is a picture of Christina Aguilera rocking the blue eyeshadow, and that's what we're gonna do today. Then I found this picture of Kendall Jenner that has you know, a little more modernized, more subtle look. Uh, and we're gonna make it work for type two. So how are we gonna do that? We have a new blue, really beautiful navy blue with shimmer in it. 
and we're gonna mix it with some of these lighter colors. We are going to take our um, flat shadow brush and we're gonna start with the dark color. Now this is saturated. This is actually a crossover to type four, so we need to be light-handed because it does have um, pack a punch and just tap it off to your hand on your hand. You can see what a pretty color that is. So usually I like to keep out on the outside of my eye and go up. But with this blue, we're gonna keep it, bring it down a little bit and go in. Okay, so you're just gonna change your application a bit. And we're gonna start right along the lash line. And it goes on with a punch. And just kind of, uh, maybe more than dragging, tap. I find that that is helpful to just not make mistakes. And if you do, you haven't gone too far. So we're doing about halfway in, maybe a little bit more than half, over the eyeball, on the eyelid, and then just above that crease line. And then pull it out a little, but not too much. We'll let the blending. Okay, there you have it, there's your below. And <laughs> not yet. You can go back to what you've put on your hand. Tap. This eyeshadow will last you forever because it really is concentrated. Tap, tap, tap. So, I am such a, like browns and neutrals and the mauve tones for my eyeshadow that this was a fun, fun thing to try. And that's the thing with trends is just try them. You can wipe it off. You can decide you never want to do that look again. You can adjust it, but it just gives you something new to try and it's fun and it can mix it up. And then you can look back and be like, oh yeah, what I was doing was a little outdated or maybe it was classic and you wanna keep doing it, but mix it up a bit. All right, now we have this new, very large brush. I love that it's fluffy, but it's angled and it's a little bit stiffer than um, our other blender brush that we have. We are going to work with just the light colors with this. Okay, you have to, uh, that's why I like this one for the dark colors, because it's a little stiffer. So let's dip into our lightest matte and we're gonna start on the inside of the eye and we're just gonna start brushing over. And already you can see the difference of just how soft that's getting much softer. And go all the way, really brush it in there. So you know how you can brush with these lighter colors? You do that with the blue, you're gonna have a mess. But then when you get to the blue, just kind of tap on it again. So you're not brushing it all out into the side of your eye. And you can see where those colors now are coming together to blend get your fingers involved here. Now we're gonna take this um, really nice glowy pink. It's a, it's a, I wanna say bright pink, but it's not bright. It has like a lot of light behind it. So it's a light pink, but it has a nice shimmer. So it's a great one to put in the um, points of your eyes because it will open that up. And then I like to put it under the brow line just to give some height to your eyes. Okay, so you can see that really toned down the blue. And then you can just take um, a cloth. And then I'm going to add, I meant to do this in the beginning, this is our light cover stick. Now this will add to that light, dewy, glowy look with the foundation. But when you get the blue on your eyes, it might pick up some of maybe the shadows or the um, dark circles under your eyes. So just giving it a little bit of a lightness under your eyes will help counteract that. And maybe maybe this is the perfect time to do it because if any fallout has happened, you can just wipe it away with that. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that blush there. Okay, I really like that where that's at with the blue. You can see it has a nice, subtle, soft, diffused look for type two. Now we're just gonna keep it really um, neutral with the eyeshadow and the um, mask, excuse me, with the eyeliner and the mascara. We're going with our brown. This is a new brown. Well, it's a new old brown. We used to carry this color in this gel line and we took it away for a while and we've just had such um, great feedback with these gel liners and they have such great staying power that we wanted to bring it back. So um, just pretty, a st pretty standard application for this, just doing um, from the outside in about three-fourths of the way. You can, if you'd like to make it a little bit thicker on the outside um, to create a little bit of a winged look, a little bit of a lift. I think that's really great. I'm going to take our 
eyeliner brush and just kind of blend it in. Now a fun thing to do with this is now to dip your eyeliner brush into the blue. Tap, tap, tap. And then you can concentrate that blue right over the brown and it will um, just keep that color going. And I tell you, this has a really great staying power when you um, apply with the primer and you use the right tools. This look will be on without fallout, without creases. Um, till you're done, party in at night. 11 p.m. Wash your makeup and be like, wow, look at that. It's all still there. I'm going to bring it under my eye just a little bit. Now, I'm looking. I have green eyes. Can you do blue eyeshadow with green eyes? Brown eyes? Yes! As long as it works for your type. Have fun with different colors. Um, like I said, I'm usually playing in the camp of browns and pinks and mauves, but this has been a fun, fun different option. Okay, now to mascara, we're just gonna use our black brown. That's actually our darkest brown that we have. And I really like it because the lightness, um, kind of just that diffused look on the eyes, this gives the nice definition to the lashes. So got my lash primer on, which always helps to amp up those lashes. And just a quick application here. But be careful. Don't want to mess up the beautiful job that you've just done. So again, with the trends, have fun with it. You can see I've done another collection that did the opposite. It has a minimal eye and a dramatic look. So, and that's kind of the thing with trends. It's like, well, how do I put it all together? Well, we're helping you with that. This is a fun way to make it work. Okay, then my lash definer. You know, there are just some things you can't go without. And this is just always in my routine because plus then I don't have to do my bottom lashes with the mascara tube, which usually ends up in a mess. So I just pull it right down. Okay, I'm really liking this blue eyeshadow. It's really fun. So what are we gonna do with the lips? Now that our eyes are done, we're gonna keep it light, but we're going pink. We are going to I don't know, Barbie's been been out and so popular. I feel like the pinks are coming back with a vengeance. So we're just gonna go there. I really like this pink because it is a very light pink, but it's matte, but it goes on really creamy. And we have a new eye um, lip liner too. And I just wanna do just the lip liner on this half and just the lipstick on this half so you can see the colors. This is darker than the lipstick, which is uh, great for a liner. You can go a little bit darker but just a really classic, nice pink. And then just the lipstick. Really soft, kind of a pale petal pink. And then when you combine the two, I think it looks really good with that liner. Just when it, especially when it is lighter, just giving it a little definition on the um, outside helps to frame it and bring it in and it's gonna help it last longer. Let's just mix that all together. So you can see how beautiful it looks with the darker eyes, the lighter lips, and that real soft dewy glow as the foundation. You can find all the colors I've used in the makeup collection, as well as my other look. So you can be on trend this season to have fun with it and to support bringing out your true beauty.